Yes, uh, it's very, very important also to have uh, white spaces, uh, to, to have uh, depth, uh, to see the, the sky through the, through the tree. Yeah. I'm going to use also this. This is a, a car, an, a oh, hotel okay. car. Yes, to, uh, to have some white to, by scratching. You were in for a treat today. One of the great watercolorists from Spain, Pablo Rubin, is on with us. Pablo, welcome. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Good. Tell everyone where in Spain that you are. Uh, now I am uh, at my studio. Uh, my studio is in Grignon. It's a very little little village in the south of Madrid. It's a, a village about uh, 10,000 people. Okay, excellent. Sounds beautiful. Yes. Uh, so uh, Pablo is a watercolorist, and he's one of the superstar watercolorists that we've selected for Watercolor Live, which we'll hear more about later. But uh, what are you going to do for us today, Pablo? Uh, today I'm going to paint you uh, one of my favorite subjects. Uh, it's a, a, a lake, a small lake, uh, with some reflection and some uh, grasses and some trees. Is what my speciality. Ah, sounds wonderful. Terrific. So what we're going to do is we we know that uh, we know that you sometimes uh, have a little problem with English, and so we're going to be a little tolerant of you. And also we know that when you're uh, when you're facing your uh, your canvas, that we might not be able to hear you as well. So if you can talk a little louder, that'd be great. Okay. No, I, at the moment I understand you perfectly everything. So <laughs> come on. Outstanding. All right, so you're going to do a watercolor painting for us today. This is exciting. Yes, uh, I'm going to I'm going to paint for you. Um, it's, it's a pond. It's a, it's a small lake uh, in in Fuenlabrada. It's a, a city next to uh, next to Grignon. Uh, it's a very lovely place, and I'm going to paint you my my uh, my, my preferred uh, subject: uh, reflection with uh, greens, with uh, um, with waves. So with uh, some things under the water. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do it. Okay, terrific. Uh, what kind of paper are you using? Uh, I'm using Arches paper, uh, 300 grams, uh, fine grain. Okay. Is, uh, so, is that a pencil, a uh, regular pencil? Yeah, it's, a, it's a mechanical pencil. It's yeah. a, a, a 0.9 lead and it's a 2B lead. It's, it's very soft. Uh, I like to, to draw with uh, with soft leads. I see some of your friends are tuning in. We have somebody tuned in from Madrid. Hello, Madrid. Hello, Russia. Hello, Norway. Hello, Hawaii. Uh, let's see who else we've got out here. Hello to my North Spanish. New Jersey. I mean, that's like a foreign country. Uh, San Paulo, Brazil. Uh, wow, this is great. Big international audience. You're a big hit. Egypt. Uh, wow. So you're drawing in, trying to get your perspective lines in. Yes, uh, just uh, just to have the the each, uh, the the two shores of the of the lake is okay. enough to uh, to have the, the the drawing. And it looks like you're using a straight edge of some kind, top of your paint box. Uh, excuse me, can you repeat me, please? It looks like you're using uh, a ruler or a straight yes. edge. Yes, it's a, it's a metallic ruler. Uh, I prefer this because it's very sharp. Uh, it's very, very sharp. Uh, so I can I can push uh, on the paper, and then if I need to paint with my brass, uh, the water uh, doesn't run uh, into it. Yeah. So that's a, uh, I think we call that a trowel. That's used for putting up... Um, uh, spackling or wallpaper. Yes, or it's like too, I, I use one of those too. To I have a small yes, one that I keep in my bag. It's, it's not an, an art uh, tool. It's uh, for apply gesso on the walls. <laughs> uh -huh. Welcome New Zealand, Nova Scotia, Norway again. Mexico. Oh, no, New Mexico. I'm sorry. Well, it's enough. With this drawing, it's enough. So I want to start uh, painting the, the sky and the, the water uh, okay. to have the, the same uh, colors uh, on the top and on the on the bottom of the um, of the work. 
Now, so do you I, normally paint with your your canvas standing up like that, or do you normally yeah. you do? Yeah. Yes, uh, I used to to paint like that because I I use the the gravity to 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 uh, to have the water uh, going down and I I take advantage of the of the water running uh, okay. through the paint. Also, uh, I control the humidity uh, by having the the paper in this way. I'm using uh, a very soft uh, canon red. After a while, uh, this color will be completely uh, light and almost disappear. So you're doing that to give it a little undertone? What? You're doing that to give it a little, uh, so that the, the color bleeds through a little bit on the rest of the painting? Yes. OK. I'm, oh, going to, I, I'm going to paint uh, also the, the blue uh, part of the sky. Uh, because it's going to be a, a, a cloudy but sunny sky. Okay. With a little bit of uh, cerulean blue. Okay. Cerulean blue chromium is a specific uh, kind of, of cerulean. Do you have a particular brand of paint that you use? Yes, I, I use uh, Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith, I hear that a lot. I am brand ambassador of Daniel Smith. Oh, you so, are? Yes. <laughs> Well, we need to get them involved in the in the watercolor live conference. Yes, no. Uh, this month is going to uh, uh, appear in the market uh, my my new set, a uh, new box with uh, ten tubes, uh, all selected by me. So we oh, you're your own paint set. Congratulations! Th thank you very much. I'm very happy to. Yeah, you should be. That that says a lot. A big company like that picks you to be an ambassador. That means that you're pretty pretty serious player. Yes, no, I am. I'm also, the, they are my friends. I, I have a very, very good relation with uh, Catherine and John. Uh -huh. I don't know them. Did, is this a dry paper uh, initially? Did you start out dry or did you wet it first? Yes, uh, no. Uh, I also, I always start uh, uh, with um, dry paper because okay. also I control uh, uh, which part I want to, to have dry and which part I want to have uh, wet. So okay. I always start with dry paper, and uh, I'm going wet in um, small areas. All right. We have a lot and of people tuning in from, from Spain, Pablo. Thank you for sharing this with your friends. Oh, thank you very much. I, 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 had, uh, I make a publication, uh, and, and they, they told me they, they were going to, to be. <laughs> so I'm happy. If anybody I, I, has I, questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section, and I'll I'll read them off. Okay. I, as do you, soon do I, you I, prefer uh, do you prefer tube paints versus pan paints? Yes, of course. Always, uh, I only use uh, tubes uh, because um, I, I like to paint with very thick pigment uh, yeah. many times. So uh, uh, I need the the freshness of the tube, and I need um, to have thick. Uh, pigment many times, so I, I don't use pants. All right. Well, one of your students says he is our great teacher. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and what kind of brushes are you using? Uh, no, I'm using uh, all my brushes are Skoda brushes um, made in Spain, and and I am also a brand ambassador of uh, Skoda brushes. Skoda, okay. And this, uh, for example, this one is a uh, Reserva one, is um, natural hair this uh, this time, because I, uh, I I I want to to make the the blended of the of the clouds of the into the water, so I prefer to use now uh, a soft brass. Okay, so Scotta, and someone asked, did you stretch your paper, wet it, and then stretch it out, and then let it dry, or was it just a dry sheet of paper to begin with? No, it's just uh, fixed with uh, with tape, with masking tape. Uh, only when I uh, paint in big size, uh, I used to stretch my paper with uh, with staples to to a board, to a to a um, canvas board. Okay. And I'm darkening now the the bottom of the of the water of the lake. Are you using a reference photo? Yes, I'm using here. Um, a reference picture. Okay, good. That helps. Thank you. 
yes, I always I used to have a, a reference picture to to work. I love the fact that you're just very loose, that you're not you're not trying to be too exact. Yes, I, I'm used to, to work very, very fast because I, I'm joined uh, here in Spain. We have a lot of uh, planner contest. Uh, I think uh, Spain is one of the bay of the countries with uh, with more uh, planner contest. Um, I, I used to join every weekend in them. We like to hear that. We we want plenary painting to spread around the world. Yes, here in Spain we have uh, some contest. Uh, we I think we have the the, the oldest uh, contest because some of them have been uh, uh, organized by uh, for sixty years. Really? Yes. That's outstanding. Yes. Well, you guys need Plein Air magazine over there if you don't have it. The, yes, I know. I I, I have. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to to participate uh, one day in in one uh, American uh, contest. Okay, well, we'd like that. There are a lot of people watching who could invite you. Yes, uh, I would like to to join when when everything ends about COVID. Yeah. Well, so I uh, I have done uh, the first the first layer of the of the water, the the reflection of the of the clouds of the sky. Uh, and also, I I put some uh, some parts of uh, underwater parts, uh, some uh, warm parts uh, about uh, about um, uh, rocks or or some, something that is under the the water. So the I need to this part to to be completely dried. Uh, before um, paint the, the next layer. The next layer would be the reflection of the buildings and of the, the trees and of, of the of the vegetation. Okay. So uh, while uh, it's drying, I'm going to start uh, finishing the background, uh, the the skyline of the of the buildings. Okay. I'm going to change now my brush. I'm going to use a, a synthetic one. It's a, it's a perla. It's very very famous. This this is um, uh, this brass for example is uh, I also have a set is uh, my name is in the brass. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> well, you're a star. <laughs> I'm trying to. That's that's uh, that's such a nice honor. Well, no, I'm going to. So where can people find those brushes with your name on them, and where can they find the paints with your name on them? Yes, uh, I think. Uh, where, where can we find? Uh, do you do you ask me? Ask me. Will they be on your website? No, uh, I think in in any art store. Uh, I think it's very easy to find, even in in the USA. Okay. Uh, Skoda uh, has, um, I think, Dick Bleak. Uh, uh, I don't. Um, wet Wet Pain. Uh, I think there are many many art stores in USA where it's very easy to find Skoda brushes and also my my signature uh, brushes. All right. Well, that's pretty cool that you've got brushes in stores all over the world. Yes, yes, I'm I'm very happy because they they uh, they used to travel a lot. Uh, so I think in China, in in India, they they have it's a very small factory. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, but they they make very very high quality brushes. Uh huh. Well, I'm a, painting. There's the, a big plein air watercolor movement going on in China right now, isn't there? Oh yes, uh, I didn't know. If you're just tuning in, our guest is Pablo Rubin from uh, Spain. Well, I have done the uh, the skyline, uh, the the background of the of the buildings, and now I'm going to start painting the the trees. Okay. I'm going to blend uh, the trees with the background to have uh, more depth. You can really see the feel of light. Yes. And now the the sky is uh, is lighter uh, than than previous 
uh, previous step because it uh, has completely dried I, so I can I can make uh, sharp edges I'm going to paint the also the the tree uh, on the left side. Okay. What's the key to painting trees? Uh, I think uh, the key is to uh, to find the the right green uh, because many many times uh, I see I see uh, my students using um, uh, two bright greens or two uh, artificial greens. So I think one of the keys is to to find the right green. And uh, the other key, uh, I think, uh, are the um, uh, the edges uh, to to have uh, broken edges because uh, usually all the trees have small leaves uh, in in every everywhere. So uh, that's the reason I'm using this kind of brass. It's a very hard uh, brass, and with this brass, uh, I can uh, I can have the the texture of the of the paper and have small dots, small uh, marks that uh, can be used like uh, like leaves so yep. i think that that's uh, that that's the the key okay lots of people are asking questions that have already been answered i encourage you to go back to the beginning and watch it when you can uh, oh yes that way you don't have to repeat those for everybody else welcome to the hague netherlands this is truly an international artist uh colony that we have every day it's kind of fun Oh, terrific. So are you leaving some of that white in there so you can put some light, some green in there later? Uh, excuse me, I, I didn't understand You're you. You're leaving uh, some little white holes. Are those sky holes or are you going to put some some uh, the, light in there? Yes, uh, it's very, very important also to have uh, white spaces. Uh, to, to have uh, depth, uh, to see the, the sky through the through the tree. Yeah. I'm going to use also this. This is a, a car, an, a it's hotel okay. car. Yes, to uh, to have some white to by scratching while the the paint is still um, uh, damp. Yeah, I can have some uh, whites in my in my paper. It's not completely white. It's not uh, the same white uh, of the. Uh, of the previous uh, part of the paper, but it's uh, lighter, uh, so I can have more uh, interest um, values inside. Uh -huh. All right, terrific. Somebody says uh, this is like watching magic. <laughs> it's ju just watercolor. Well, I'm going to paint also the 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 shades of the the trees on the right side. So you put the darks in after the lights. Yes, and yes, I, I'm leaving uh, some highlights uh, on the top of the of the trees. I, I'm not covering everything. I'm, I'm mixing the, the trees uh, with a little bit of opera pink. It's like a, a magenta to uh, make the, the color uh, broken. That's one of the uh, of the the thing to to have real greens and to avoid uh, to to artificial uh, greens. Yeah. See, look how I use that for that edge, that perfect edge. Yes. Yes. I am uh, also. I use. I used to have uh, this rule uh, on my left hand and in my right uh, in my right hand the the, the brass. Can we, is it possible to get a quick shot of your palette? What? Is it possible to see your palette? Yes, of course. I'm going to show, uh, show you my palette. Ooh, la, la, la. All right. Excellent. Thank you. It's a very, very big uh, palette. It's, um, it's the palette uh, I use for, for planner work. How often do you get out and do plein air painting? Uh, every weekend. Uh, oh, good. Every weekend. Yes. You should, I, uh, uh, in, in one year, I, uh, I used to, to, to make about uh, 30 plein air contests. In, in Spain, we have a, a lot, a lot. Every weekend you can, you can choose uh, between, um, 
many, many cities, many villages to to join in different contests. We we are lucky to to have a lot of contests. Well, anybody who does plein air is my, my friend. Just saying. Well, that's so nice, the way that edge works. I'm going to paint the 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 shore of the of the pond. With a very it's a, it's a very soft uh cadmium cadmium red. Well, now my, uh, the the water is uh, completely dry, so uh, I can uh, start painting the, the the second step. The second step of the water is the the reflection of the the building, the reflection of the of the trees. I want to scratch again. Uh, if so I were entering a plein air contest and I saw you coming, I think I'd probably just leave. <laughs> but in Spain, uh, we we paint uh, bigger than the, I have seen in the USA, because uh, our um, regular size is about one meter by one meter. I think in the USA uh, the, the the works are smaller. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What? Well, so I'm going to start uh, painting the reflections on dry paper with uh, some transparent red oxide. Do you ever use a hair dryer to, to speed things along? No, I don't like the hair dryer. No, I I prefer to uh, to leave it uh, dry by itself. Uh, I, I have a hard dryer here in my in my studio for but uh, but only for the students not for me. Well, I'm going to start uh, by the the by the, uh, the top of the reflections, and I'm going to uh, use the the drop the the drop floating on the paper to to have a transparent mix this is a very very pointy brass so i can i can do a very very small lines very tiny lines yeah you can really tiny Yes, it is uh, with it's, it's a it's not a small brass. It's a fourteen, but uh, it's very 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 pointy. So you're really only using two brushes. Does that sound right? Uh, yes, yes. No, no, not not too much. Because uh, this is, this, uh, in fact, this is a very small painting, so I don't need. Uh, too much. But if you had a bigger painting, you might be using a great big brush to kind of fill some things in. Yes, uh, I, I think uh, the same kind of brass, but in uh, in a bigger uh, number. I see. I, I used uh, for bigger. I use this kind. This is a synthetic flat brass. Uh huh. But here is uh, here. I I, I don't need. Uh, Well, I, I paint in uh, some uh, small waves because the, the water uh, have has uh, some some movement. It's not completely uh, stopped. So this uh, this small lines, small dots, uh, give give the the painting a lot of movement. Makes sense.
Well, you're just yeah. zipping right along. You're going to be done before we know it. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, then I, I will add uh, some small touches, small things. Oh. Detail always comes last, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to paint now the the left side uh, darker. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Perilene violet to the green, mixing the greens with uh, violets or or purples uh, makes uh, the the greens more more real, more more broken. Yes. I have now the, the reflection of the big tree on the left. Darker here. Again, some broken edges uh, and some uh, white dots to have the feeling of, of death. Somebody said Pablo is very modest, but you can't imagine how many prizes he's won in Spain in Spain in all these plein air competitions. But you can ask him how many. Uh, I think about uh, four hundred. Wow! <laughs> yes, wow. I, I have been joining him for for more than twenty years in plein air competition. So, uh, um, some years uh, I did uh, about sixty competition in, in in one year. Really. And about, uh, I think I have I have joined it in in all my life in in about uh, six hundred or seven hundred plenary competitions. Wow, that's outstanding! I can see why. <laughs> well, again, I'm going to break a little bit the the reflection with the with the card. It's a plastic card. It's, it's very simple. Like a credit card or a hotel key. Yes. Now we know what hotel you stayed in. It's a, it's a, it's a black card. <laughs> Maybe it's in, in Spain, black card means uh, an, uh, another thing. Oh yeah, what's it mean? Is it something you can talk about? I mean, uh, like, um, uh, like is the the political uh, the thieves use it to to pay things? It's a black card. Okay, well, we won't get into politics. We don't. We're we're, we're here to get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the um, the reflections uh, done. So seen uh, details. Uh, for example, here some windows. Yeah in in the in the building yeah there is still a uh, one uh, one step to to have the the feeling of of death and the, to have the feeling of uh, of water uh, i will make it later uh, as soon uh, everything has uh, dried again wow that's beautiful you guys, what do you think of this? Say something in the comments. Or hit the like button or applause or whatever you want to do. I'm going to paint. Uh, this now is you got to you change the color now. The, I think the, the camera shows the, show, shows the, the color lighter uh, as they are uh, uh, in real. That creates a lot of harmony with that green, just that little amount of red. Yes, this is a, it's a, also it's a, it's a broken red. It's not uh, a red. It's, this is a, between a green zone and, and a red. Yeah. It's just the, the, the opposite color of the green, so it uh, connects uh, perfectly with the, with the color. Well, I'm going to put some texture. Uh, here uh, on the 
on the shore to to avoid having a, a play a brush. It's, it's the same brush. It's the yeah. The, the perla brass. Well, I'm going to put also uh, some shadows. Say that again. Some what? Some shadows uh, here in the on the oh okay on the right shore. With a, with a violet. We got about 10 minutes left. Okay, don't worry. I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> I would have thought it was done already. <laughs> <laughs> I have the, the, the time control. Well, well, and the last thing I'm going to do is to uh, to put the all the things uh, that uh, are floating uh, on the surface of the water. Okay. I'm going to do uh, this with opaque painting. Uh, that's the reason I use tubes, and also uh, I used to have uh, on on my palette uh, opaque colors. Uh, I co okay, colors uh, uh, like uh, Naples yellow, like buff titanium. Even uh, I used to have uh, titanium white. Yeah. To have uh, to to use very 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 thick pigment. I'm, I'm not a purist, of course. Everything uh, is completely dry, so I can I can put I can paint without problem on the water. Some green, some maple yellow. This is a, this time is a very very bright uh, green. Yeah. To make contrast uh, against the the darks of the of the water. Very 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 thick pigment this this time. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's where that tube paint comes in really handy then. I use uh, again my, my rule to to have everything uh, parallel to the horizon line. Well, that's really critical too. If it's a little bit off, it's going to throw everything off. Yeah, some some uh, darks, holes, small things floating on the top of the of the water. Mm -hmm. And also, you're, in, you're going to be teaching on watercolor live. I think that's exciting. Yes. I'm going to put some highlights also. Right. Directly with, uh, I don't use to, uh, I, I don't use um, uh, masking fluid. Oh, I forgot the. I prefer to to put some highlights with uh, with directly with with paint with. Now, do, when you put those highlights down, does everything need to be pretty dry before you before you lay them in? Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's it's it's, it's enough. I think so. Now, is that thicker paint gouache or is that just watercolor? It's watercolor. It's watercolor, but uh, I use uh, some colors uh, that uh, that contain uh, titanium white. 
but it's, it's watercolor. It's not uh, wash or, or tempera. Now, when you do these plein air competitions, you paint a lot larger, don't you? Yes, I, when I, I paint uh, usually a one meter by one meter. Well, I think I know I'm not going to, to do too much. It's enough to, I think, to, to see the, the moves of the, of the play, the, the light. I'm going to put the camera in front of the, of the work. Are you wiping off the edge of your, um, your trough, your straight edge before you? Yes, uh, of course. Do each, each stroke? I want to take off the tape so you can see the wow beautiful the real the real colors uh, the, the white of the paper against the the sky yep really makes it stand out outstanding so what size is that one it's about uh, 30 by 30 centimeters. Okay. Uh, so even some, I used to, to put some uh, line with the, with the pencil. Oh, you do? Uh, I'm uh, making some uh, lines to, to make some edges uh, in, in the floating scenes, for example, for example. It's okay. Outstanding. All right, everybody give Pablo a round of applause. Oh, That's thank you. Sir. All right. Well, why don't you come back on camera for a second, Pablo? Yes, of we'll have a final chat. Uh, that was just beautiful. That, that That is magnificent. I never expected that. That's stunning. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I uh, really appreciate it. Have you, um, have you figured out what you're going to be doing for Watercolor Live yet? Uh, no, not, not still. No, not yet. Okay, well, we'll have to plot that and come up with something really special so it's completely yeah. different. And, of course, you'll have a lot more time. Well, Pablo, thank you so much for, um, for doing this. I want to tell everybody that Pablo's website is um, pablorubin.com. And, of course, his brushes are Escoda, and it's got yeah. his name on them, and he's using Daniel Smith paint. And what kind of paper? Arches paper. Ar Arches paper, 300 pounds. Yes. So, so terrific. Well, thank you, Pablo, and, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Watercolor Live. Thanks to you for the opportunity, and, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much, well, Eric. I'll come over to Spain. We'll go plein air painting together. Of course. <laughs> I will uh, wait you. <laughs> okay. Thank you.